हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम रामेश्वर और आप सभी का मेरे यूट्यूब चैनल पर स्वागत है फ्रेंड्स एज वी नो टुडे वी टॉक अबाउट द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट एम टेस्ट ऑन द बेस ऑफ द पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम दैट इज पी इन विच वी टॉक अबाउट डिफरेंट फॉर्म्स ऑफ पी डी एस मे बी द आर पी डी एस टी पी डी एस और ई वन अंतदया अन्न योजना पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम के हम पूरे फॉर्म्स ये भी हम बात करेंगे जस्ट लेट मी क्लियर वन थिंग बिफोर मूविंग अहेड आप डायरेक्टली एम सी क्यू पे जब मत कीजिए यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल नो अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम वी कवर्ड एंड द लिंक इज गिवन इन द आई बटन सो बी विथ मी टिल द नेक्स्ट टू नो ऑल द कंसर्न अबाउट द पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम ओके फ्रेंड्स सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर सेशन टुडे वी टॉक अबाउट द थर्ड इंपॉर्टेंट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन बॉक टेस्ट ऑन बेस ऑफ द पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम जी हाँ जब बात करेंगे व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस ऑन द पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम ओके सो टॉक अबाउट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन डैश एक्ट एज एन इंडियन फूड सिक्योरिटी सिस्टम थ्रू विच डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ फूड ग्रेन्स एंड अदर इसेंशियल आइटम्स विथ अ लोअर और सब्सिडाइज रेट and the name of the system may be the msp that is minimum support price pds public distribution system buffer stock or the farm subsidy so answer is must clear that is the public distribution system why it is so because keep in mind one thing in terms of the msp hum msp mein baat kya baat karenge minimum support price is the pricing system so isliye ye nahi aayega kyunki us price pe hum procurement of the grain from the farmers buffer stock it is the availability of the stock which could actually happen again or which could actually fight again different types of calamities or different types of sudden price rise or price fall from this point of view farm subsidy it is it is one of the type of protection given so that is nothing but the answer is the pds now talk about the second question responsibility of procurement storage transportation and bulk allocation of food grains lies towards whom center state dekhi yahan pe definitely the answer could not be these two so answer between what first or second jab hum baat karenge responsibility of procurement of grains my means nothing but the fci procurement karta hai or different types of national agencies so that is the role of center fine now we talk about rpds stands for okay so these are the options regenerated pds revamped pds revamped public distribution system and uh, jo second third that is the disbursement system and a regenerated public division system so the answer is revamped public distribution system for the rpds theek hai ye baat acche se dhyan rakhiye then we talk about the main purpose of rpds revamped public distribution system ka main purpose kya hai so these are the four to focus on below poverty line people to promote pds to the hilly and remote areas distribution of food grains throughout the country and right of food so the answer could be there the second one to promote pds to the hilly and remote areas ye acche se dhyan mein rakhiye that is the answer kyunki yahan pe hame revamped public distribution system mein hame kahan pe jana hai we have to move towards the hilly areas to the remote places okay now we talk about antyodaya anna yojana launched in the year okay so these are the option keep in mind the answer is nothing but our 2000 is the answer and it is actually launched in the december 2000 so the answer is the 2000 antyodaya anna yojana 2013 का जो था दैट इज नथिंग बट नेशनल फूड सेफ्टी एक्ट फाइन नाउ टॉक सिक्स क्वेश्चन डिसबर्समेंट ऑफ फूड ग्रेन ऑफ इसेंशियल कमोडिटी इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ अब ध्यान में रखिए हियर प्रोक्योरमेंट इज ऑलरेडी डन नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट अलोकेशन भी हो गया है अलोकेशन टू द स्टेट नाउ दिस इज नथिंग बट द डिसबर्समेंट फॉर द पब्लिक पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू थ्रू फेयर प्राइस शॉप सो दैट इज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ स्टेट ठीक है Seventh question, DPAD, ITPD, and DDP comes under. Yeah, just then we are key. DP. When we talk about this term, DPAD, so it is typically for the drone drone area program. ITDP, it is typically integrated tribal development program, and DDP is typically for the desert development program. So all these comes under the designated hilly areas. ये सब किसके अंडर आते हैं डेजिग्नेटेड हिल एरिया और ये सब चीजें किसके अंडर आती है नथिंग बट द रिवैम्पड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम क्योंकि हमने ऑलरेडी क्वेश्चन देखा था आरपीडीएस एक्चुअली द बेस और द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ आरपीडीएस इज टू एम्पावर द हिल रीजन सो दैट्स व्हाई इट इज नथिंग बट द डेजिग्नेटेड हिल रीजन में ये तीनों चीजें जो है ये तीनों स्कीम्स एक्चुअली एम्पावर करना ड्रोन ड्रोन एरिया प्रोग्राम इंटीग्रेटेड ट्राइबल डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एंड डेजर्ट डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम अंडर द designated hilly area so that is nothing but the 
comes under RPDS, Revamped Public Distribution System. Now we talk about eighth question. To supply PDS to MDMP means midday meal plan, WBNP means wheat based nutrition program, different types of nutritional program, maybe the old age person like this way, and important task of which of the scheme. So these are the options. We are talking about actually certain welfare schemes. So these are nothing but the other welfare scheme. OWS means other welfare schemes. Okay. Here we are talking about the poorest of the poor people. Okay. RPDS, we have already seen RPDS. What is the work of RPDS? Typically for the hilly region. And TPDS is typically for the we could say below poverty line people. So the answer is the OWS, other welfare schemes. Now we talk about ninth question. FCI procures food grains from farmer at what price? Or these are the options. Maybe the maximum support price, minimum support price, market support price, or even merchandise support price. So that is one of the simple question. Dekhi, FCI procures food grains from farmer at definitely at minimum support price. Yes, the answer is the second one. Now next question, center government allocate PDS, ye question achche se dekhiye, center government allocates PDS or even essential goods at dash dash to state government, matlab center government definitely dekhiye, from the procurement to the allocation, all types of responsibility lies toward the center one, then distribution to right to, uh, till it reaches to the consumer, these are the responsibility of the state government. So at what price the central government allocate PDS to the state? This is nothing but the central issue price, CIP. Okay, now see here, floor price will definitely not be because floor price is the brace price or it is the equilibrium price below which market price could not be happen. That's why the floor price is not there. Retail price, market price, ye bhi nahi aga. that is actually the price of the open market. Central issue price is the answer and procurement price definitely for the this procurement price is typically for the center. Okay, so here we talk about center to state. So that's why the answer is the central issue price. Now, 11th question. The distribution of essential goods under PDS through FPS, government outlet, issue outlet, issue price or even price outlet. So the answer is simple one. It is through the FPS means fair price shop. Okay, so distribution of essential goods, ek baat dhen me not only food grains but still certain essential goods, jaisa humne dekha, for the R, we could say for the revamped public distribution system, for the RPDS, different types of allocation of soaps, different types of essential goods like kerosene, so these are also even distributed. Okay, so the distribution of essential goods under PDS through the fair price shop, fine. 12th question. Important measures of PDS, which are these? Vigilance squad, definitely vigilance squad means nothing but these are the actually a squad of person who make a particular type of raid for the to actually cure any types of misleading advertisement or any types of misleading to the law or even to protect different types of malpractices. Okay? So different types of malpractices be protected clinically vigilance squad both important hai. so there's definitely this is there digitalization of ration cards it is too much important because with the help of that we know exact beneficiary numbers for who have the ration cards sms monitoring ye bhi hai. so definitely the answer is the all fine next question major shortcomings of pds are coverage yeah, hum pe kaise we are talking about the major not all we are talking about the major. So definitely coverage is there but it is not the major one. Because pure India ke parts mein, this is not covered till all part of India. Inadequate storage facility of the PDS. So that is one of the major shortcomings. Again it could not provide all different types of nutritional programs. Again there are involvement of mediator but the, still the major shortcoming is the inadequate storage facility. Next question. Importance of PDS. PDS ke exactly importance kya kya hai? Dekhi, ensuring nutritional security. Definitely in terms of the definition of PDS we know that is the food security system of India. That's why it is there. Redistribution at regional level. 
डेफिनेटली देखिए एफ सी आई प्रोक्योर करता है सेंटर प्रोक्योर एट द प्रोक्योरमेंट प्राइस देन सेंटर एक्चुअली गिव टू द और सेंटर अलोकेट टू द डिफरेंट स्टेट गवर्नमेंट और डिफरेंट रीजन एट अ सेंट्रल इश्यू प्राइस डेफिनेटली दैट इज नथिंग बट द रीडिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एट रीजनल लेवल स्टेबिलिटी फूड प्राइस ये भी है सो डेफिनेटली दंसर इज ऑल Now we talk about the year by year progress of the public distribution system. So just take a look. ये PPT आपको बहुत important साबित होगी. Just take a look about this progress throughout the year. It started in the year 1940s during the British government at Bombay and Bengal during the Bengal famine, and again it is it was there in the World War Second. 1960s actually food shortage are there due to that. The APC Agriculture Price Commission just started in the 1965. So they have their way. 1970s. PDS evolved for distribution at a subsidized or lower rates of the food commodities. 1992, RPDS, RPDS launched in their 1992 to actually move PDS to the different types of remote and hilly areas and even underprivileged classes. 1997 is the actually involvement of TPDS, targeted public distribution system, with the major focus on the households with. we could say poorest of the poor here it divided into above poverty line and below poverty line in 2000 antyadaya anna yojana make their way to make tpds more focused to the poorest of the poor family and finally in 2013 nfsa national food security act it is nothing but the right to food so these are the milestones for the public distribution system just take a look ओके फ्रेंड्स आई थिंक टुडे सेशन इज डेफिनेटली यूजफुल टू एंड इंपरेटिव टू आज हमने देखा है द फॉर्म्स हाउ इवॉल्व फॉर द पीडीएस मे बी रिवैम्प्ड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम और इवन टारगेटेड पब्लिक डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन सिस्टम और हर एक का बेस क्या है व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस व्हाट मे बी द शॉर्टकमिंग्स इफ स्टिल यू हैव एनी क्वेरी यू कुड राइट मी इन द कमेंट सेक्शन आई विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प यू आउट फॉर द सेम एंड इफ इट्स योर फर्स्ट टाइम ऑन माय चैनल देन डोंट फॉरगेट टू क्लिक ऑन लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब बटन हिट ऑन द बेल आइकॉन So stay tuned for the fourth important MCQ from the agriculture economics point of view. Still, then, thank you.